Hello everybody and welcome back to B Pharma Wise. So in this video we are going to talk about solubility product. Now let's imagine an ionic solute and we are dissolving it in water or any solvent of your choice. So let's take an example. For example, I have calcium oxalate as my solute and I want to dissolve it in water. Then what happens? First it form ions like calcium ions and oxalate ions and these ions get solvated. These ions dissolve in water and we write aqueous here for ions. Now as we go on dissolving more and more solute in the solvent particular volume of solvent then ionic concentration goes on increasing. Now that particular solvent cannot hold any more ions and that stage is called as saturation stage. At that point we are having maximum concentration of ions in that solvent. Now if we try to dissolve further calcium oxalate in the same volume of water it will not be dissolved and it will remain as it is it will settle down at the bottom of the container as it is so this will remain solid so at that point these ions and this solid undissolved calcium oxalate is in equilibrium so whenever a system is in equilibrium we can apply the law of mass action so if i apply the law of mass action to this equilibrium what i will get is calcium ion concentration into oxalate ion concentration divided by calcium oxalate concentration <coughs> sorry now as we know that at that saturation point and at the particular temperature the concentration of undissolved solid will be constant this is a constant if this concentration is also a constant if i multiply both of them it will give me another constant and that constant will be called as ksp which is nothing but my solubility product so what is solubility product basically as you can see solubility product is nothing but ionic product these are the ions and these are the concentrations of ions we are taking product of them so this is ionic product but why we are calling it solubility product because the ionic product is taken at saturation point so for saturated solutions if you take the ionic product it will be called as solubility product now uh, why this solubility product is important or what does it tells us so it tells us a very important information about precipitation of the solvent so how we can predict the precipitation just just now i told you this is nothing but ionic product but ionic product we can take at any stage of the solution so when i started just dissolving the sol solute at that point if i count the ionic product it will be ionic product at any later stage if i calculate it will be an ionic product only when we consider the ionic product at saturation that will be called as solubility product now how this concept can help us predict the precipitation so if my ionic product is less than the solubility product it means more number of ions can still be accommodated in the uh, solvent it means the solution is unsaturated and there is a scope for further dissolution so in the first case if kip is less than ksb the solution is unsaturated and we can dissolve more solute into it the second condition if my kip that is ionic product is equal to my ksp which is solubility product then this solution is saturated solution because that is what we call na? we call solubility product as the ionic product at saturated point saturated uh, solution so this is saturated now if my kip exceeds the solubility product what will happen if my kip exceeds if it is more than solubility product it means 
the solution has passed the saturation phase now it has entered the super saturation phase and so the precipitation will begin so the solution is super saturated and it will definitely lead to precipitation okay so this is how we can use the concept of ionic product and solubility product to actually predict whether the particular solution is in which phase and whether it will precipitate or not so this is all about solubility product in the next video we will try to actually calculate the solubility product based on some examples so if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing and keep watching b pharma wise i'll see you in the next video till then you take care bye bye